Hi gang, Miss Sexy. Alright, so look, I'm gonna <laughs> looks like I'm gonna be clearing my table here. I've got some projects that I need to honor and I'm going to um I'm going to work on those. Uh I, I need to do some more of the play test for the Great Battles of the American Civil War, the the, the wilderness game. So I need to I need to get after that because it's already the new year, and uh, some of the guys that are playtesting are doing some reporting, and I need to get after some more of that. So I'm going to have to get that back up and play some more, um, and it's fun. So <laughs> it's a it's a the the fighting within those thickets is a very strong test of patience in that game right there, trying to keep everything coordinated or even get it coordinated. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be doing that. Um, I've got some other games that I need to look at that had been sent to me. And plus I want to start working on some of the things that I know Wargrove and I have talked about playing this year. Um, i.e. some great campaigns in the American Civil War. Uh, we want to do some more squad leader ASL starter kit. I know we want to mess around with decision at Elst and I've still got some learning. I haven't even gotten to the vehicles and the anti-tank guns and stuff like that. Uh, I've got some OCS burning in the back of my head that needs to be done, and I still want to get on the TCS system. And even beyond that, uh, you know, you, I've got Great Battles of History and the Men of Iron stuff. I want to get some more of that back on the table. And, and I'm debating Combat Commander or the last 100 yards, maybe taking a shot at that. And then there's a couple other ones. But the big focus is, is I need to do some more play testing. And like I said, I want to work on some of these games that Wargrove and I have been sort of itching to play. Um, so I wanted just a, maybe a few notes here about the two that I got on the table. I, I, I'm hate, I'm going to hate to take Velikaya Luki down because this is a good game. Good, good old game. So there's no doubt in my mind that sometime this year, this is going to come back on the table. Um, I know, I think they only made one other game that was like that. I'm hearing rumor control of these things being rebuilt by Compass or, re or remade by Compass or maybe something newer on, under the same system. Um, but I've only played not even a full turn of that. And this is, I like this. This is this is a really interesting approach. I don't, I don't they have a bunch of multiple different mechanics in the game that you don't see combined in any other games. So, and I would love to see a brand new copy with the ability people have to with mapping and counter art today. That I think that would be awesome. So yeah, that sorry guys, that one's gonna come down. I have to. Hexy's got some things he has I've got to do. Um and of course you know me, I love GBACW anyhow. Now this system here, so this was just sort of a I knew I wasn't gonna get through all of this anyhow. So this is more of a test run of the line of battle series rules in an RSS game. And I was wondering, I've played three hours of the game, game turns, I guess, and the casualty counts are like 3,100 or 3,600 for the, for the, is it the Confederates and 50 or f over 5,000 for the Union in three hours. And they were probably only fighting for about two. And I was a little curious about that. Um, I will say that the flow of the game here is easier. Um, applying the the command and orders rules uh i kind of i'm kind of i was kind of 50 50 on this when I, while i was doing this where i was i had instructions that i wanted the units to do i was using an acceptance type thing um i did write some out some i didn't and using command radius and stuff is is a is a good system for this and i think this actually works very well okay so that's coming from somebody who hasn't I don't have a lot of experience with line of battle. And I'm not going to lie to you. My initial instinct was when I started to play the Monoxy Junction one, while it was okay, it was there was just a slight moment where I was like, you know what, they're all going up for sale because I'm probably never going to get into it. But now that I've beat this around a little bit more, yeah, I'm not letting go of these. These are eventually going to get come back to and get played. Uh, the line of battle, you know, I don't know whether I go with the Antietam or Gettysburg, or maybe just play the full Monoxy Junction game. We'll see. But yeah, they're not going nowhere. And I will, I don't know when I'll come back to these. 
Uh, I'm not letting go of them. They're, they're a very decent enough system that I, I definitely want to play. So I get some more experience So with playing the game. Because, like I say, it is very fluid. So if you've, if you've got any of these and you got one, give it a shot. I know Matt Ferran's doing the same thing I've got going on right here. And Matt is far more experienced with the rules. So uh, I know he's posting in Facebook images and little write-ups of what he's doing. There may be one or two others out there. I'm not sure. I, you don't see like a ton of these videos for, uh, well, for RSS for one. And then somebody using line of battle with RSS. So check on Facebook. Check out what Matt Ferran's doing in the, uh, the LOB for or the LOB page on uh, Facebook. What is it? LOB, CWBS, and uh, um, RSS page they have. And I think they have the Napoleonic, Napoleonic Brigade system on there. So keep your eyes on that. Matt's probably going to continue to play his, I would assume. Um, yeah, just got to, I got to change focus because I got to get some things done. Um, I got a game box up I was going to send to somebody to let them play. But I think I may have to open that box and, and play a particular game that's in that box first before I send it up. So Rich... Sorry if it doesn't get there fast enough. I might have to give it a shot, but I'm going to send it to you here shortly. And the other one you're going to get anyhow because I probably won't play that one enough. People have played the the other one. So, all right. So that's it. Don't don't nobody panic or freak out. Plus, I I got to tell you too. Um, I don't know if any of you out there that are into the computer simulations like uh, some of the John Tiller stuff, which is now War Game Design Group, um, Decisive Battles, uh, great series, Combat Mission. I don't know if I'll go down that road or not, but. Uh, Gary Grigsby's War in the East, War in the East 2. Um, probably more apt to see me playing some Panzer campaigns that started with John Tiller and is now under War Game Design Group. And they're doing a, they're doing a great job updating uh, the Panzer campaigns, Panzer battles, squad battles, the, the uh, Civil War campaigns they do, and um, some really good stuff. And I know the AI is strong in the game. The graphics have been are even improved. They've added a lot more... Uh, order options to the menu with the units and it's in the AI. Like I say, the AI is just, is, it's much tougher than I remember it being years ago playing the old battleground games that started with talents off, I guess. So it's funny because I was talking with someone about that the other day about how all the, the AI would just go straight to the victory locations and form a bubble around the victory locations. And I think it was like the Gettysburg game from years ago. And I'm thinking to myself, well, that's odd. I'll just go ahead and march on into Gettysburg then. So, but it's not like that anymore. All right, so like I said, nobody panic. Still going to get stuff from Hexy. Uh, if I'm slower in between, it's only because I'm really grinding hard on the test play because I really can't wait to see that 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 wilderness game pop when it's done. I know that uh, Dean's working on the one for Line of Battle, which I know once that shows up, I'll jump on that. Waiting on On to Richmond 2 to get done and get shipped. Waiting on Ardennes 2 from SCS to get uh processed and printed and boxed and shipped out. I want, I want to get my hands on that. Those are pre-ordered. I have a couple other ones out there. So, yep. So keep checking in. You're going to see more stuff posted. You might see some stuff with Wardrobe and I, uh, maybe not playing together, but playing the same things uh, during the same time period. And we'll see how it goes. So you got to have some Plus y'all know Hexy trying to find me a place to, to move to, to live with uh, all the way the inflation is around here. And that's something completely new to me. So, I'm working on that really hard too. All right, so let's wrap this up. We're going to tear these down and we're going to get, uh, I got to get this wilderness back on here and I don't know what I'm going to put beside it. I'll probably talk, I'm going to talk with Todd or Wardrobe about that, what we may want to attach ourselves to and play. All right, talk to y'all shortly. Something new. See ya.